Let's meet our first potential fooler. Hi, I'm Adrián Carratalá. I'm from Spain. When I was 11 years old, I got my first performance in front of almost 500 people. When I was 18 years old, I have earned enough money from Magic to buy my house. My wife and me, we are crazy. We perform together and we create some costumes. I really like costumes and, and being ridiculous on a stage. <laughs> the trick that I'm going to present, it's really well known. But I think that I'm going to fool Penn and Teller because they are going to expect an old method. And this is a completely new redesigned method. And they are not going to be watching in the right place. Sharply dressed and ready to fool, here's Adrian Caratala. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Hello, I'm Adrian Caratala and I'm a magic inventor. What I'm going to show you today may look like an ordinary trick, but don't blink because I've taken it one step further. And now, as with any ordinary trick, who can lend me a ring, please? <laughs> Whoa, so many people. Let's go into the audience. Let's find a jungle. For example, hello. What's your name? Maya. Maya. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Maya. Nice to meet you. Can I borrow your ring, please? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. I didn't expect it's such an expensive ring. <laughs> I hope you have an insurance. I do. Do, do you? <laughs> Please join me on the stage and, and let's give her a big round of applause. <laughs> Come here, this side. Okay. So just one question. Will you be able to recognize your ring later? Of course. That's important, so that I don't get reported to the police. <laughs> okay. Please, hold your ring through the silk. Hold it from the stone, yes. Make sure that it's your ring with the right hand. I'm not a cheater, yet. <laughs> Audience, keep an eye on this, because this ladder will be the grand finale. You know, when I, when I go like so, everybody goes, oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> this ladder will be the grand finale. <laughs> really? <laughs> OK, we're almost done. On the count of three, I want you to let go of the ring. I'll throw the handkerchief in the air. Then I'll catch the ring. I'll make it disappear. And remember, the ladder will be the grand finale. <laughs> Better. <laughs> remember, just let go of the ring, and I'll do the rest. One, two, three. <laughs> People usually applaud here, <laughs> but you don't have to. Anyway, thanks. Now is your turn. Please, very careful, bring the ladder to the center of the stage. Be careful. All of it? Yeah, careful. Take it, take it, careful. Okay, stop. Here, go this side of the, of the ladder, keep it in, in, in the center of, the, of both. Take the box, open it, and show everybody what's inside. It's empty. You know why? Because this is not an ordinary magic trick. <laughs> I'm sorry if I made you believe that the ring would be in the box, but that would be too obvious. Many magicians do that, and I promise you that I go one step further. Your ring is now in a place that was impossible for me to get to, because you were all looking at me the entire time. Give me your right hand, and help me to take the step further. Your ring is tight to my shoelace, to my shoelace, audience. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? But I want you to come close and check it by yourself. Is it your ring and is it really tight? It is tight. It's tight. Let me untie it and take it by yourself. Take it. You can take it, yeah? Is it your ring? It is. Of course it is. <laughs> Big applause for her. Thank you very much. You can go to sit. Thank you. Adrian Caratala. Thank you very much. Woo. That's
very exciting. Thank you. Man, and you tied your shoes again. Yeah, because uh, I want to be handsome for you. Okay. <laughs> and have you ever performed in, in front of such a big audience? Yes, of course, oh. but not such a beautiful audience. Oh. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> so is this a trick they might be familiar with? So it's a challenge to fool them with a trick that they may know, but let's see what they guess. Yeah, they know a lot of tricks. <laughs> yes, I know, but me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Adrian, let's see if they figured it out. Okay. Penn, tell her. Nice, nice trick. Thank nice, you. simple trick, good plot. The ladder is great misdirection. We were so worried about that ladder what? all the way through. <laughs> that's part of the idea. And that's a traditional trick. It's called ring flight, mm -hmm. and usually the ring vanishes and appears usually on a keychain. And we think that what you did was, let me see if I put a little code into this, was real magic. It was a real magic trick. But we think that ring went, shall we say, through your clothing when you did it. If I understand it, I think that you are far away from the method. Far away? Yeah. We, we thought it went, at some point, the, the ring went into your clothing, is that right? You mean into my clothes? So yeah. Maybe I'm wearing some kind of gimmick under my... Yeah, maybe. That's what we think. Sorry, no. <laughs> Could you please hold this sure. for a second? Okay. Could you please check it? No, you can't check it. Everything. It's too... I'm sorry about that.